Oh my god, there's so many generations and so many royal children and so many royal babies. This is insane. It's insane. Hello everyone and welcome to a, another royal family tree video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Mira Ray and I have a Sims 4 royal family series on my channel. So this is the royal family tree of those families. So I will be showing that to you today. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started and I will explain things as we go. So for those of you who are new, I have multiple kingdoms in my series and this is all my own little world. So a lot of the things I will try to explain as much as I can, but I might reference a lot of videos that can explain things a little bit more in depth in case you are confused. But basically I've created my own little world. My main kingdom is in Windenburg and I will show that to you guys in just a bit. That is one of the royal family trees that we will be covering. My other ones are Willow Creek and Oasis Springs. Those are the other two kingdoms we will be covering today. And then I also have Brindleton Bay, which I will shortly explain in this video. I also have a kingdom in Sulani and then a kingdom in Selva Dorada, and then a kingdom in Glimmerbrook, and is that it? Is that all the kingdoms I have? Yes, that is so far at this moment all the kingdoms I have. I was actually kind of hesitant to do this video for a while because my royal family tree, some of the sims started to go missing just because I have so many sims. But what I'm doing is going to an old save file. So basically going back in time and showing you the first few generations of the family. And then I'm going to go to my present royal family so you guys can see the rest of the Sims and the rest of the families. So it'll be interesting. We'll see how this goes. Oh my gosh, for those of you who have seen my series, this is seriously back in time. This is the old Windenburg Palace. Like all of our Sims, they're, they're little babies right now. For those of you who are new, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. For those of you who have seen this a lot, you know exactly what I'm talking about. So it's just weird. We've gone back in time. I feel like I've created a time machine. I know you can also upload family trees online. There uh, is what, the plum Bob tree. I had a bunch of recommendations in my last video. I know you can do that. We just have so many Sims. And for those of you who have seen my channel, you know that I have a full-time nine to five job right now. And I own my own company that takes up my weekends. And then I also have a ton of other stuff going on. So I just don't have time to put all of these online at the moment. Hopefully at some point I will. So you guys will be able to see this online. I do have my save file available to my patrons on Patreon. And I have this very first save file with like the start of the family tree for those of you who are interested and then I upload and update my save file every month. It's available for my first tier patrons. There's three tiers but the first tier is only one dollar per month so if you are interested then that is available to you and the link to my Patreon is in the description below as well. Okay so let's get started. A few things you might need to know actually before we get started. I do have a royalty mod and you can watch my overview of the royalty mod. I will put the link to that video in the description below as well. I need to remember to do all of this. If I forget anything, let me know in the comments. I do have a royalty mod, but when I first started and before the mod came out, and I still do this, in the first name of the sim, I add queen or princess or king or noble titles as well. So it's basically my imagination. I had a lot of people asking me in my other royal family tree video if this was a mod or a pack or something. So I do have a mod, but I didn't need the mod to do this basically. So we are starting with the royal family of Windenburg tree because this is the tree that has some sims missing. My Willow Creek family tree and my Oasis Creek Oasis Creek. My Oasis Springs family tree. They do not have any Sims missing. So we're gonna start with Windenburg. So this is my first save file that I'm on right now. And then I'll go to my current save file after a few generations. So, oh gosh, guys, this is such a big family tree. There are some spoilers in here. So if you have not seen my Royal Family series, I do have a season one and season two. I treat it like a TV show. There's a lot of drama and a lot of stuff and it's very entertaining. So if you're interested, you can go ahead and watch those. But there are definitely spoilers in this video. If you have not seen those yet, my first season does have 100 episodes. So if you are way too intimidated to start that, then you can just start on season two. I made season two, so anyone who is new can just watch season two if they wanted to. But the links to those are in the description. So if you do not want any spoilers quite yet, if you wanna watch those first, then go ahead and do that. That being said, we are starting on our Windenburg Royal family tree. Our very first king and queen on the tree. Actually, the first king and queen of Windenburg was King Henry 
the first and then his wife Queen Caroline King Henry didn't actually have any kids but he married Queen Ravenna and Queen Ravenna so she got remarried it to Arthur who became the king they had three kids so they had King Henry the second or just Henry the second they had Belle and Derek so Prince Derek and Princess Belle you guys can also see too because I know we won't be able to touch on this when, once I switch over to my current save file, but you can see the descendants of these kids because I don't usually pay attention to, or I haven't in the past two videos, I haven't paid attention to the other kids. I only really go to the heir and then their lineage, like each of their heirs. So if you just click on Queen Ravenna or if you clicked on King Arthur, you can actually see the lineage, including the kids that were not heirs and who they married. Just a warning, uh, there's a lot of second cousins and third cousins and fourth cousins that marry. It's a posh thing. I remember hearing that on a Royals History channel. They were like, it's a posh thing to marry someone, like a distant cousin. It's gross and it's weird, I know, but it happened. But I will just show you real quick while we're on our first save file. So Princess Belle, she had Sir Stefan and then Sir Stefan had Baron Kingston. And I will go over to, so we have our royal family and then we also have nobles. And if you are curious about how I make the noble titles work, because I do it a little bit differently than the actual British royal system and other noble systems around the world, you can watch my explaining my nobles video. The link to that is also in the description. I will put all the information you need to know in the description below. But since you guys have that reference, I'm not really going to go over the noble titles in this video. But yes, Princess Belle, she married William. And when I did the first few generations, I didn't have like the noble system. So I kept their names as princess. But if I were doing it now, she would have become the Baroness of Windenburg if she married a Baron of Windenburg. So that's why it still says princess next to her name, but it doesn't do that for the royal siblings later on. They had one boy, they had Sir Stefan, and then they had Kingston, and then they had these kids, Philip, Aiden, and Countess Carla, and they these sims will be in the present save file that I have, so I will go back to them later. And then Prince Derek, he had Bryce, and then he had Reyna, and then they, wait, Wait, oh, yep. As I said, the cousins married, the distance cousins married. I didn't even realize that until now. That's why you see a lot of duplicates on the family tree too, because they are duplicates. Anyway though, I'm not gonna focus on that. Let's go to our main lineage at the moment. So their heir was Henry, who became King Henry II. King Henry II married Queen Sybil. They're not showing me her parents. I think I made her parents nobles or something like that. But Sybil Sybil and Henry, they had two boys. They had Kellen and John. And Kellen was the heir to the throne. He was the oldest boy. But as you can also see, John, he had a boy named Louis and he had a girl named Carol. And John had married, oh, John had married one of the princesses of Willow Creek. So he married the princess of Willow Creek, Jane. And I will get into the Willow Creek family tree a little bit later. But Kellen, Kellen had two kids and he married Ilse, oh, I forgot. Okay. Okay, I was saying this in my last royal family tree video and I've been saying it forever until people started to correct me. I kept calling her Ilsa because I think that's the name I had in my head and I guess I made a typo but it never occurred to me because I was playing all these sims in the first generation before I started my channel. So I'll show you the generation I started on but it wasn't until like generation six when I actually started my channel. But her name is actually, the way it's spelled is actually Isla. <laughs> I've been calling her Ilsa for as long as I can remember and I can't change her name now or the spelling, so we'll just say it's Isla. But anyway, Isla was one of the princesses of Oasis Springs, and I will also get into their family tree in this video, but Kellen and Isla, they had two kids. They had Emily and they had Henry III. Emily actually became the queen of Willow Creek. She married the king, so we'll get into that in the Willow Creek family tree. But then Henry the Third. okay, so now we're, I'm gonna switch over to my present save file so you guys can see this now because I think we're all cut up. So we are now back to my present save file and guys, just like you can see how gigantic this family tree is. It's huge. It just goes on forever. Like I have to click Oh my gosh, it's gonna take me so long just to get back to the center. But I have to click on like the third generation. So I clicked on King Kellen just so I could see everyone. Cause I guess it only shows you five generations at a time or six generations at a time. But yeah, it only goes up to here. 
So I had to click on King Kellen so I could actually see like everybody, but oh my God, guys, there's so many people. I also realized that I was saying Prince Stefan before, but I meant to say Prince Stefan. So that was my bad, I mispronounced his name. But we left off at King Henry III and Queen Emily, who was the daughter and son of Queen Isla and King Kellen. And then King Henry III, he had three kids. Now this is where I started my royal family series was on this generation right here. So they had, I thought they had four kids. Oh yeah, guys. Uh, okay, so one of their kids somehow got deleted, but they definitely, so Queen or King Henry III, he married Queen Ezra, who was the daughter of Princess Elena of Willow Creek and Sir Simon of Willow Creek. But it says here that Henry III and Queen Ezra had three kids, Baroness Mira, which this is also before I actually, cause like my real name is Ray, but I, my channel's name is Mira Ray. So I obviously liked the name Mira beforehand, which is why that's my channel name now. But this was before I had my channel. But they had Baroness Mira and Arya and George. And then they had another sister named Eliza who was like the favorite aunt. And I have no idea why she she's not on this tree, but I'm just going to click back to King Henry III so you can see. I'll just show you real quick the kids that they all had and then I'll show you who they're married to. So he had Queen Arya who became the queen of Oasis Springs. She had two boys, Adrian and Jared. Jared was the oldest and was supposed to be the king of Oasis Springs, but this whole thing happened where his parents didn't approve of the commoner that he wanted to marry. And then he founded a new kingdom, which was Brindleton Bay. So I'll get to that later. And then I won't go down the line of Queen Arya because this is the Oasis Springs. Springs royal family tree, but I'll go down the line of Baroness Mira because they are not royal, so you guys are probably not as familiar with them. I'm so sorry if this is so confusing. I hope you guys are still with me. But Baroness Mira, so she had the two boys with Baron Colton of Willow Creek. They had two boys, so they had Baron Caleb and Earl Peter. Peter, he had Katerina and Helena, and Caleb, he had Evangeline, which is now the Queen of Winter. So we'll get to her in a minute. And he also had Valentina. I know it says Valen right now, but it's because Valentina didn't fit in her name. And then Valentina had Lord Maxwell of Willow Creek and Lord Lucas of Willow Creek, who are currently teenagers. And Countess Katerina, she had Lord Timothy and Lord Percival. And Marchioness Helena, she had Lord Ajay and Lady Rosalind. So that's the noble side. But now we are going to continue down the line of the Windenburg royal family. So, King George, he married Queen Isabel, who was the daughter of Duke Milo and Duchess Beth of Oasis Springs. They actually only had three kids. The reason it has a fourth kid, because this is Princess Anna, who's on here twice. There was some glitch for some reason. I think it like duplicated her, but she stayed young forever. I don't know. It's not like I've ever seen her walking around or anything like that, but just pretend she's not here. Just put a little X by her because there's only one Princess Anna who became Marchioness of Wittenberg. Anyway, so King George and Queen Isabel, they had three kids. They had King Henry the fourth, who is one of the main characters in the first and second season of our Royal Family series. Their second child was Cora, who became Queen of Willow Creek because she married King Edmund of Willow Creek, so we'll get to them later. And then we have Marchioness Anna of Windenburg. Since Cora is part of the Willow Creek family tree, I will just go ahead and show you guys Marchioness Anna's kids. So Princess Anna, she became Marchioness of Windenburg. She married Marquis Marshall of Windenburg. So they had three girls. They had their oldest, which was Lady Ezra of Windenburg, and then Lady Aurora of Windenburg, and Lady Sidira of Brindleton Bay. Lady Ezra, she has a son named Lord Winston, who should be aging up into a child pretty soon. And then Lady Sidira became the queen, or no, she's going to be the future queen of Brindleton Bay because she married. she's married to the heir of Brindleton Bay. She's married to Prince Johan. But they had two kids. They had Frederick, Prince Frederick of Brindleton Bay and Princess Molly Grace of Brindleton Bay. And Lady Aurora is married to Coda from Sulani and they should be having kids soon. I don't think they've quite had one yet. Oh yeah, clearly they haven't had one yet because it's not on the family tree. But I thought she was pregnant, but I guess 
guess not. But I'm sure they'll be having a kid soon though. Okay, and now we're going back to King Henry. So you guys will finish the Windenburg royal family tree. But King Henry, so his first wife was Queen Alice and she was originally a princess of Willow Creek. They had three kids. They had Princess Amira, who's the oldest. They had Princess May, who did die from embarrassment. I mentioned this in the last episode too. She died a while ago. This is a spoiler. I should have said that before I actually said this. But everyone was saying that maybe it was a, like a mental illness because she was going through a lot and she was hiding a lot of things that she wasn't supposed to. So they think that that could be why she passed away. And their third child was Kellen, who became Duke of Windenburg. And then so you guys can see Duke Kellen. So he has a kid. He has Lord William of Windenburg and he married. Oh, you can't see who he married. Okay, good. I was like, wait, you can't see who he married. But Kellen married Megan, who is a princess from Oasis Springs. So they became Duke and Duchess of Windenburg. And they have one son, Lord William of Windenburg. And then if we go back, you can see here, then Princess Amira married Prince Jabari of Selva Dorada. So now he is a prince, but they're in Windenburg. But he's going to be the future prince consort of Windenburg because Amira is the heir. And then they just had a baby girl named Alice May. So Alice May is named after Amira's mother and sister combined because Amira's mother did pass away when the three kids were children. So many years later, King Henry IV married Queen Evangeline. They had three kids. They had twins, Charles and Bellatrix. And then their youngest name is Diana. So that is the Windenburg royal family tree. All of them are teenagers, so they haven't had any kids yet. We are now going to look at the Willow Creek royal family tree. So when I first started this, Windenburg was my main family. I didn't start the Willow Creek and Oasis Springs royal family until once I was like a generation in or something. So there's seven generations for the Willow Creek and Oasis Springs royal family trees and eight for the Windenburg royal family tree. So the very first king and queen I had was Queen Lilia. And then I, it won't show me this and I kind of forgot what his name was. I think it was, no, I don't remember. I think it was King Edward or Edmund. I said it in the last royal family tree video I did. I think it might've been Edward, but they had two kids. So they had Princess Elena of Willow Creek and then they had Hans who became the king. Elena, she had two kids, Jacob and Ezra who became the queen of Windenburg. And then you guys all know Ezra's royal family lineage. But Jacob, he had Ed Edson. I think, was that supposed to be Edison? I feel like it was. That must have been before I had the longer names mod. Then Edison, he had two girls. He had Rachel and Lindsay. And then Rachel, I have to go all the way over here. My goodness gracious. Rachel had Jasper and Ian. And then Lindsay became the queen of, of Oasis Springs. So we'll get to her in just a minute. But then going back to Queen Lilia's kid. So the oldest, Hans, he became king. Hans married Elaine. Oh no, I was like, wait, he married Elena. That's his sister's name. No, he married Ingrid of Willow Creek. So it doesn't look like I have any parents on, on file. <laughs> it's not right. It doesn't look like there's a record of her parents, but Ingrid was who he married. So Hans and Ingrid, they only had one. Oh no, did they have one kid? Oh, they did. They only had one kid. So they had King William of Willow Creek. Then William, he married Emily who was from the Windenburg royal family. She was a princess of Windenburg. They had two kids. They had Derek, who became king, and Julia, who became the countess of Willow Creek. And then I'll show you the kids that Julia had really quickly. Julia, she had Olivia. And then Olivia had two girls, Katerina and Helena. And then Katerina had Lord Percival and Lord Timothy. So I mentioned that before already. So you guys have already seen them. And then Derek. Derek. So this again, King Derek was King William's son. He became the king. King Derek, he married Elena. Elena was the daughter of the king and queen of Oasis Springs. So with Elena, he had King Edmund and Alice. For those of you who did see the first season of my royal family series, we had Derek and Elena in it. And then Derek, he had an affair. So he had an affair with Duchess Stella of Oasis 
Alyssa Springs, and they had one kid. They had Lady Tierra. She got married to Derek of Windenburg, and then they had two kids, Lady Gina and Lord Gianni, who are teenagers, I'm pretty sure. Actually, I think Gianni might be a young adult right now. But then if we go back to Alice, Alice became the queen of Windenburg, so that's why you see like her descendants that we just went over. And then Edmund, he got married to Cora. So Cora was the daughter of the king and queen of Windenburg, the sister of King Henry IV. She's now Queen Mother Cora because her husband passed away. They had three kids, they had triplets. They had, the oldest one was Louis, Jack, and then Belle. Belle's full name is actually Isabel. She's named after her grandmother. So they had their triplets, their oldest Louis. He is now the king of Willow Creek. He got married to Corinne of Willow Creek. Corinne is from a noble family in Brindleton Bay. And then they had four kids. They had Cornelius, who is the heir, Prince Cornelius. Their second one was Genevieve. And then they had twins, which is Elena and Juliet. And then we have Earl Jack, who got married to Countess Aria of Oasis Springs. They had two kids. They had Gabriel and Minerva. And then Princess Belle, she got married to Prince Francisco from Oasis Springs, and now they are the Earl and Countess of Brindleton Bay. So they now have a daughter, Lady Ariana of Brindleton Bay. I know, this is so confusing. I'm so sorry. I know the titles, like all the noble titles, it makes it even more confusing, which is why I recommend watching my Noble Family Explained video that I was talking about. But that is the Willow Creek Royal Family Tree. Now we are on the Oasis Springs Royal Family Tree. As you can see, Oasis Springs Willow Creek and Winneburg, they all kind of connected. And a lot of the distant cousins all married each other. So my other kingdoms aren't so much like that because they were much newer and I didn't introduce some of them until like way later into the series. But the very first king and queen of Oasis Springs was Queen Kara and King Cash. So the Oasis Springs royal family, because as you could see before, my Windenburg royal family, their last name is Windenburg, and the Willow Creek royal family, their last name is Willow. So for Oasis Springs, Springs. Since they are based off of Indian culture, I didn't think Oasis or Springs made sense for a last name. So the last name is Su, which is more commonly an Eastern Asian name, like more Chinese last name, but it is very rarely, but it is a Southeastern Asian name. So like an Indian last name as well. So I decided to go with that. They are the only ones that have a last name that is not relevant to their kingdom name. But someone pointed this out in my last royal family tree video and I never realized this because I didn't say like their names out loud because I was playing this on my own. But King Cash, if you put his first and last name together, it's Cashew. And I didn't realize that until someone commented on it. So apparently it was King Cashew. But again, the first king and queen of Oasis Springs is Kara and Cash. They had three kids. They had Jared who became king, Amina and Isla. So you guys know Isla's lineage because she became the queen of Wittenberg for Amina. So Amina, she married Ali of Oasis Springs and they became the Duke and Duchess of Oasis Springs. They only had one boy named Milo. And then Milo, he married Beth of Oasis Springs, whose parents doesn't look like they, they must've been commoners. But they had two girls, Isabel of Wittenberg, who you guys know, and then Stella of Oasis Springs. But she was the one who had the affair with King Derek of Willow Creek. She had two other kids, Duke Addison, so it's Duke Addy because it didn't fit at the time, and then Baroness Shanna. Addy has a daughter named Lorelai, and then Shanna had two girls, Baroness Valentina and Queen Ava. So this is Queen Ava's mother. But going back to the Oasis Springs royal family tree, the heir and the second king of Oasis Spring was King Jared. King Jared, he married Irina. And then they had three kids. They had Sahar who became king. They had Amaya and they had Gia. So for Amaya and Gia, so Amaya, she married, it's not showing her husband, husband is, but she had two kids. She had Ross and she had Keith. So Keith became the Earl of Windenburg and Ross became the Marquis of Windenburg. Ross had two boys, Matthew and Franklin. Matthew had two boys, Maxwell and Lucas. So he is the one who married Queen Evangeline's sister, Baroness Valentina. And then Franklin, he married, he married Marchioness Malaya of Brindleton. Oh, so his name should have been Marquis Franklin of Brindleton. I never changed that 
before he died. Shoot. But anyway, they had three kids. So they had Christina, Kayla, and Aaron. Okay, and then now, oh, sorry, going back. So that was Princess Amaya's lineage. But then going to Gia. So Gia, she got married to Dion. They had one kid, it looks like. Yeah, they only had one kid. They had Lucian, who became the Marquis of Oasis Springs. Lucian, he married Clara of Oasis Springs. And then they had three, or sorry, they had two kids. They had Jillian and Natalie. Jillian married the Duke of Willow Creek. They have two kids, Lord Pierre and Lady Harper. And she has a bastard child who I will explain that in just a minute. And then they had another daughter, Natalie. Natalie married Baron Scott of Windenburg and they have one son, Lord Romeo. Okay, and then now continuing the Oasis Springs royal family tree. So that was King Sahar's two sisters. That was their lineage. Okay, oh my gosh, this, I'm sorry guys. I was like trying to find a way to make this easier and I just can't, there's so many people. I know that with the actual royals, they get quizzed on their family tree. And like, I'm not even familiar with these family trees as much. I think some of my viewers, like some of you guys are more familiar with this than I am. Like I saw a comment and they were explaining to another viewer like, oh, well King Henry and King Alice are third cousins on their father's side. And I was like, I didn't even, I didn't even remember that. So I definitely need like this in front of me to be able to explain this to you guys. But anyway, so King Sahar, he married Ella, who was the daughter of the Duke and Duchess of Willow Creek. They had two kids. They had Easton and Elena. Elena became the queen of Willow Creek. So we already went over her lineage. Easton, he was in my first season of the royal family. Easton, he married the princess of Windenburg, who was Arya. So she became Queen Arya of Oasis Springs. They had two boys. So this is where I can explain things a little bit better. So they had two boys. They had Jared, who was the oldest, and they had Adrian. Jared, he was supposed to inherit the throne. He would have been King Jared II of Oasis Springs. But he fell in love with a commoner named Nina. And with the help of his uncle, King George of Windenburg, he founded a new land, a new kingdom. They decided to call it Brindleson Bay. But this right here is basically just the Brindleson Bay royal family tree. Jared, he, so he married Nina. They had two boys. They had Prince James and they had Prince Johan. Prince Johan is the heir to the throne. He got married to Lady Sidira of Winnenberg. So now she is supposed to be Princess Sidira technically of Brindleton Bay. And then they had two kids, Frederick and Molly Grace, which I showed you guys a moment ago. Then their other son, Prince James, he got married to Lord Ian of Willow Creek. So they haven't had any kids because Lord Ian has the hates children trait. So they might, uh, like I saw a bunch of comments, people were saying they should just adopt a bunch of dogs, which I think would be a good idea. And then going back to the Oasis Springs royal family tree. So then their youngest son, King Adrian, he became the king. Okay. So Adrian married Queen Lindsay, who Lindsay, we went over her lineage a while ago, but Lindsay was originally arranged to marry Jared. And then when that fell through, when he married Nina instead, her parents pushed the marriage on her and Adrian. So theirs was an arranged marriage. So they got married. They had four kids. They had the current queen of Oasis Springs, Queen Nea, Francisco, Megan, and Michael, who are twins. But so Adrian then had an affair with a lot of different women. He had affairs with three different women. One of them was Lady Harmony, who has been a huge issue in the second season of the royal family. So if you have not watched it yet, you should, and I won't spoil anything, but there is Harmony and they had a daughter, Charlotte. And then the other mistresses that he had was Duchess Blair of Oasis Springs. They actually had twins, Kara and Benjamin. And then the other bastard child he had is Lady Isadora. So she, her mother is Duchess Jillian of Willow Creek. They actually never found out that their father was King Adrian because Lady Isadora's mother and Benjamin and Cara's mother, they were able to hide it from their kids, but Charlotte, her mother was not able to, her mother Harmony was not able to. So I don't wanna spoil anything. So you guys can watch the second season of the Royal Family if you haven't yet, if you wanna see that. So that was his bastard children. None of them have had kids yet. I think they are either teenagers or just now turning into young adults. But if we go back to the Oasis Springs Royal Family tree, we have the four kids that I mentioned. So Nea, she is now the queen of Oasis Springs. Her father died when she was really young. He died of anger. So she became queen when she was a teenager. So I don't 
a really young age. She married Philip, who was the Earl of Brindleton Bay, and then they had four kids. They had their oldest, which is Arya, so she is the heir to the throne, and then their second oldest, which is Kimberly, and then they had Aisha and Manuel. So they had four kids, and then Nea's brother, Francisco, he got married to Princess Belle of Willow Creek, so now they're the Earl and Countess of Brindleton Bay, and they had a daughter, Lady Ariana, and then Megan, she got married to Prince Kellen of Windenburg, and then they have their son, Lord William, and then Michael, he got married to Lord or Lady Helena, so now they're the Marchioness and Marquis of Oasis Springs. So they had this kid out of wedlock, which in the last Royal Family Tree episode was what I found out about it, and I was like, wait, what? So they were only teenagers at the time too, and I hadn't even made the woohoo or anything, and then they had a kid, and I was like, oh, okay. But their parents ended up forcing them to get married as soon as they became young adults, so then they had Lord of Jay, and then after that they had Lady Rosalind. They're having marriage issues right now, so technically they're separated, and we'll see if it leads to a divorce. But yeah, guys, that is the whole family tree for Oasis Springs, Windenburg, Willow Creek, and Brindleton Bay. I'll probably show my other family trees, Sulani, Glimmerbrook, and Salvadorada. I'll probably just use an episode to show those family trees because it's not gonna take long because those are much newer families. But obviously I know the big attraction of this is like how freaking big this royal family tree is. Like this isn't even the biggest one. The biggest one is my Windenburg royal family tree who is like, oh my God, wait, I have to go do it just so we can see it all again. It it's just huge! Every time I look at it, it doesn't even fit in the thing! Oh my gosh, it goes on forever. And like, technically some of these are duplicates, but still, this is crazy. But that is the end of explaining the royal family tree as best as I can. So I'm gonna end this video here. I know you guys probably weren't able to follow that very well, which is why I recommend watching my royal family series. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. If you have not yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so you never miss another video, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye!